Welcome to the Trader Reviews channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification and check mark the box so you won't miss anything on my channel. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Straight Up Reviews, baby. Back at it again for all my NINT Indo fans out there and all my game gangsters out there today. Now, let me know how you guys felt about the Nintendo Direct that just happened. Because I'm going to tell you guys how I felt right there. I was falling asleep and had a couple of Z's. And I was like, come on, Nintendo. When you do these Nintendo Directs, you got to be so happy. Nothing, nothing really, really had my attention because my attention span was off and on from watching the Nintendo Direct of Switch Smash Brother game, which just got announced. I was hoping that they would, you know, show some gameplays of the new Smash Brothers for the for the Nintendo Switch, but we still got E3 coming in about a couple of more months. So you know, Nintendo's gonna bust out the box with that, and you know, for Nintendo to actually do good with this console, the Switch, it's time for them to get back into the realm with E3 at the, you know. Uh, boofs and all that, you know, so that way they can be around, you know, Nintendo fans and PlayStation fans, Xbox fans. Go back to these expos, Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, because you've done it by yourself long and long enough, and now it's time to get your ass back in the damn king of the realms with the uh, E3 and just get along with everybody else as well. we got a Crash Bandicoot coming along, baby! And, um, like I said, it's the uh, remake of the uh, three Crash Bandicoot games that got, you know, released on the PlayStation uh, 4, as well, the Insane Trilogy. We got a uh, Dark Souls remastered, finally, finally coming on the Switch, and finally, finally, it's also coming for the other, you know, consoles as well. But it looked it pretty, pretty nice. It looked it beautiful, and I can't wait to play the uh, Dark Souls as well. Then we got the Kirby Allies is coming. That's coming out next week. You guys stay tuned for my unboxing of that Octopath game. I love Octopath, you know, because for the simple fact is that it just reminded me of the old school feeling of Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. Then we got Mario Aces coming out as well, you know what I'm saying? I never, never played a Mario Tennis game in my life. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to reach out and actually try to play this game or something like that and uh, see what it's all about. Um, like I said, y'all, um, you know, they showed a you know, couple of other games that just wasn't really, really here. Yeah, they got the uh, South Park, uh, South Park Fracture Behold coming out. I'm pretty, pretty sure later on they're going to come out with the first one as well on the Nintendo Switch because as you guys can see, we're getting a lot of these, you know, ports coming along. And I'm pretty, pretty sure after all these ports is done and over with, Nintendo is really, really going to actually focus on more and more newer, newer titles for the Nintendo Switch as well. But, uh, you know, there was a very, very few select uh, 3DS games coming out. Uh, let me say, we got that uh, Toe Tracker, Treasure Tracker coming out for the Nintendo Switch and also for the 3DS as well. We got a new Mario RPG game coming out. And I can't wait to, you know, play that as well. And also on the 3DS, we got the uh, remake of Ouija's Mansion, I believe. Because I never played the first one. I played the... The one that came out on 3DS, the second one, I believe. And like I said, we got this game called Dillish Tracker. And we got a new uh, game coming out called No More uh, No More Heroes. Um, that's coming out. Um, and Pikachu. 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 De Detective P Pikachu. I'm not really a Pokemon fan, so that's a game I'm going to you know really skip, uh, skip on. Then we got some you know new uh, DLC content coming out for Splatoon, which is the Octopath DLC. And we got some you know, a, a new Amiibo coming out for the... Um, Dark Souls as well, and um, Nintendo's doing, they, they're doing their thing, and they're doing good, because for some of the say, hey, Splatoon, you know, they're bringing out all this content, Switch, but overall, y'all, um, it was an okay presentation, I mean, we didn't see any Metroid 4, and like I said, Nintendo might be holding out, you know, for E3 to come around, and like I said, y'all, the Nintendo Switch is going to be a very, very long cycle of consoles, um, you never know. They may come out with a a, a, a mini version of the um, Nintendo Switch, you know, that they've been talking about, that people have been spreading rumors about. They may show that. And I say about three more years down the line, they're going to come out with a better version of the Nintendo Switch. And you can actually now redeem your coins that you actually get, that you uh, redeem when you get a cartridge game. You can actually buy downloadable um, in-gaming stuff from the um the um, Nintendo shop as well, and that's pretty pretty cool because I didn't even know that, and I got a bunch of coins, so I'm about to go actually dig in right now to see what I can get. That's cool. Uh like I said, y'all, um, it 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 was okay because it, I wasn't really just looking. I was like doing two things at one, trying to multitask, and the thing that I really really wanted to do is uh, 
bring that Super Smash Brothers, and that's going to be a big game. And definitely, definitely, y'all, they is going to bring the paid service because that is a big game, and they know that's going to be their money maker. But I'm going to tell you guys this: Nintendo really, really needs to work on this voice chat before they release this paid service crap. You know, on this Nintendo Switch with this Smash Brothers game. But I'm pretty, pretty sure they're going to have something implemented in plan. Uh, they need to come up with some kind of updates uh, to where they can, like, get rid of the phone app. Or maybe make some kind of device that goes with the Nintendo Switch that you can, can you know, that's some kind of wireless um, chat device where it's wireless to the system and you can have it sitting next to you or something like that. And you can actually talk to people or maybe make some Nintendo... A special type of chat headphones that's only compatible with the Nintendo Switch that can actually work together and you can only use that as a chat for the, you know, in gaming headphones. I don't know because we already know that Nintendo's cooking up something and like I said, y'all, you guys already know how straight reviews get down. So the games I'm anticipating on is Octopath right there, waiting to play that, and the Super Smash Brothers games, and some Splatoon 2 contents. And maybe a little bit of 3DS games is what I'm looking for is the Mario game and um, the Mario Luigi game. That's all I'm really, really, you know, looking for. Maybe, you know, something that's crossed my eyes I ain't talk about. But, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe to your boy Straight Reviews. Love y'all out there. And let me know how you feel about the Nintendo uh, Direct. Ah.